So when Marissa asked me if I would do a talk for you, I deliberated long and hard on what I should talk to you about because I don't want to feed you information or whatever that you've already heard and you've heard it over and over again. I wanted a really wanted guidance as to what was needed for inspiration. And I decided to talk to you about a topic that's close to my heart. I spent so much time in the past few weeks on this and I did so much research, reading, introspection. And I just want to share some of that with you. Some of the teachings that I've taken in and applied and am still busy applying to my life. We're going through such a hard time difficult time, stressful time, fearful time, anxious time, especially over the last year or so. What have we been doing about shifting that out, pushing it away, sending it away, sending it packing? Because Peace is the opposite of fear and anxiety. But how much peace are we fighting for? How much peace are we working for? How much peace do we have in our lives right now? It's rough and it's hard, it's difficult to try and focus and find that peace. Most of us, most of our days and moments daily, we're fearful and anxious about something, about some decision, about a new lockdown, about winter coming and people getting sick and vaccines and we're focusing on all that because it's blasted at us radios tvs you name it it's there social media news 24 pop-ups updates yeah it's that is our focus and that was my focus and I just really wanted to get to, an, to get to a different level in my life where I, that doesn't rule my life. I don't allow it to rule my life. I want to focus on peace instead and pushing out, pushing all the, that fear, anxiety, stress, nonsense from my life and focusing on my peace. So what is peace? It's tranquility, it's quiet, it's stillness, it's freedom from disturbance. And this applies to our outer being and our inner being. Peace isn't something we can switch on and switch off. Turn on, turn on, when, turn on, turn off, whenever we feel the need, whenever we want to. It's a process. And even when you have peace, it's not to say that now you have peace, well, that's it, you'll never have any stress, fear, anxiety again. It's not like that. You cannot, it cannot be turned on and off at a whim. It's something, it's not something you can decide to do and then you just say, okay, that's it, I'm doing it, like brushing your teeth. It's a state that we need to work on. We need to achieve it and then we need to constantly be focused on improving on that piece. It requires a commitment, a lifelong commitment, in fact. Some days are easier for us than others. But it needs to be at the forefront of our mind so that we act upon it when something is thrown up at us. When something, a situation occurs, it needs to be foremost in our mind so that that is then our focus. We focus on pushing out that feeling, that thought, that action, and we focus on the peace instead. We know when we're at peace. We can recognize the signs in our bodies, in our minds. We're calm. We're safe. Our immune systems are stronger, grow stronger, and we become more resilient. And we need that now more than ever. Our outlook brightens. We see more opportunities because we're calmer. We're not being pushed down and pressured by this fear and anxiety. Have you ever been aware of opportunities when you're overwhelmed with fear or anxiety? Not at all, because we're consumed by the fear and anxiety. There's no place for opportunities. Peace is the only way for humanity 
to enter a brighter future. It is. We need to face facts. It's a state of mental and emotional calmness where all that constant chatter and whatever goes on in our mind stops. It gets quiet. And when the calm happens, a sense of happiness arises. Inner peace is, a, is mental and spiritual peace with knowledge, enough knowledge and understanding to keep ourselves strong in the face of fear, anxiety or stress and to recognize it when it comes at us, when it arises. I said before, it's not something we switch on and off. It's a process and a constant focus that we need to work on achieving. Inner peace also doesn't mean that we become introverted and we can't have fun or we reserve timid, quiet little person who never says boo or ba or voices their opinion or speaks out about something that they believe in. In a state of peace, we reconnect with me, I, I am, the essence of me and who I am. We accept everything about ourselves. It's self-love really, actually. Um, so we need to be authentically me, one of a kind, self-love. So, yeah, what are the ways we can actually work on gaining peace, inner peace? Have downtime. Have times when you switch off, relax. We don't have to be constantly busy and working on our to-do lists. That's so me. I love lists. My close friends know that. <laughs> It's a, it's a thing of mine. But we don't need to be busy all the time. I've learned that. I have downtime and I do not feel guilty. We must meditate often. Look at what you eat. Mind what you eat. Be true to you and who you are. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Do good deeds where you can, where we can. Be assertive. We don't have to be aggressive or arrogant or bombastic. Just assertive. Assertive is very different. Have healthy boundaries. Don't let people stomp all over them because that causes you even more fear and anxiety. Have healthy boundaries and you'll find the peace. Be thankful for what we have and what we don't have. We don't have certain things because... It's not meant for us. It shouldn't be in our lives. It won't help us in any way. Make conscious little adjustments to your everyday behavior, to our everyday behavior, which improves our state of mind and overall quality of life. We won't engage in conflict situations if we make conscious adjustments and we are conscious and aware of everything and anything that comes into our space that's not going to bring us peace. It's only going to bring fear and anxiety. Recognize it. Make an adjustment and change your reaction, your action, your response. Peace is far too important to us to get involved in conflict and negative situations that pull us down. If you're having a really stressful, anxious, fearful day, go and soak in a long, hot bath. You'd be amazed how you feel when you come out. To gain peace, we also need to give up some things, some practices, some behaviors. Self-blame, yep, all of us. Being in a comfort zone, yep, all have it, me too. Chasing happiness, mm. you don't need to change it. Chase happiness. Change your behaviors and change your focus and you will, happiness will come to you. Stop engaging with con toxic people uh-huh we know who they are we see them coming but we allow them into our space we allow them to stomp all over our boundaries playing victim yep some are very good at that pursuit of perfection yep many 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 people pleasing that too self-love know who you are you don't have to impress or please anybody. Hold a grudge. 
entertain negative energies or thoughts. Yeah, all of, all of those things, all, every single one of them. We have to give up. It won't happen all at once, but what we need to do is recognize it coming and one at a time, just start pushing them away, push them out, don't allow them into our space. When the spirit is in us and among us, it's easier to do. It's also easier to find peace, to sit in peace, to sit in calm and silence. And when we do that, the peace will start happening. You'll notice your glow, glow, your jaw will unclench, your shoulders drop. You'll recognize it. Um, it's amazing actually how you recognize it. You, you sit back and you think, I actually just feel so calm. But yet this happened today and that happened today and I should actually be a, curled up in a ball, so stressed out. But I don't. I'm actually, my shoulders are not, my shoulders aren't up. They're nice, comfortable, relaxed. My jaw's not clenched. That's when you realize I'm starting to take the steps and doing what I need to do and it's working. We have a... And to assist with that, I'm sure I have special place or places which where I feel calmer. So when I'm really stressed out, I go to that place, whether it's a nature, garden, outdoors, in the kitchen, cooking, baking, in a coffee shop with a friend, painting, gardening, sewing, doing crafts, playing a musical instrument. People vary, all of us vary, we all have a specific practice or place where we feel immediately calmer just walking into that place or just doing that practice. Find yours and spend time there. But remember, if you garden, you don't have to be a horticulturist. If you sew, you don't have to be a seamstress, seamstress to paint. Nobody's asking you to paint masterpieces. To be a musician, to, to play a musical instrument, you don't have to be a musician. You just, it just needs to make you at peace and bring you calm. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter if you're not even really good. It matters that it is, brings you peace and it calms your spirit. That's what's important. Not being a perfectionist and being able to do everything best, the best of everybody and anybody. It's If it brings you peace, no matter whether you can't even, singing in the shower, if you can't sing, if you can't even tune into a note, it doesn't matter. As long as you feel peaceful when you're doing that, do it and do it more. Because when we are at peace, once we experience that inner peace, we discover an unmistakable ability to enjoy each moment, live in the now. We hear it all the time. You can't do that if you don't find peace in your life and in what you're doing. If you're peaceful, you just get on with your life. You don't, you don't judge other people. You don't interpret the actions of others. You just accept. Not accept it. You don't accept it. You, it's, it's an experience. You don't allow it to impact your life. It's their actions. It's their judging. It's their judgments. It just bounces right off our electromagnetic field. We don't allow those thoughts and actions to actually penetrate our space. Um, and once we have that peace, we don't, we're not interested in conflict situations, engaging in any acts that take us away from peace. So what we need to do is we need to start practicing. Catch ourselves when something arises that you, you recognize it. it. It's threatening your peace. Blow just gently like you would blow a kiss. Put your hands to your lips. Blow it away. The thought, think of it and just blow it away. You don't need it. Send it packing. Do not take it in. Be Always be aware of what you're striving for, your peace. 
and then don't allow anything to disturb it. Don't judge yourself though. If you have a thought that comes in and you recognize it as negative, the recognition is there. Don't judge yourself that you actually even allowed yourself to focus or to, to, to think that thought. Just note to yourself, recognize it and just send it packing. You don't, you don't need it. When you send it packing, replace it with a kind thought rather and send that kind thought out into the universe. So to cl in ending, as I said, it's not a permanent state. It's not a flick on flick off switch. It's something that needs to be constantly worked on. But as long as we recognize when we are veering away from that piece, just kindly, kindly and lovingly, not judgingly, bring yourself back and away from that and focus on something kind and positive and loving. So I'd like to end by sharing a practice that has worked for me, which you can do whenever you have that fear or an anxious moment or stress that's that threat that threatens that peace. And you can do it anywhere. You can do it in your car, you can do it at home, you can do it when you're talking to somebody even. It's, it's not a conscious thing, it is a conscious thing that you're going to do, but nobody will know and recognize, oh my Lord, what the hell is happening with that woman now? It's, you can do it <laughs> secretly, um, in company, out of company, wherever, in the shops, wherever, nobody will even know you're doing it. You just do this. Take in a deep breath and breathe in. And in your mind say, as you're breathing in, peace, happiness, joy, love. And as you exhale, breathe out fear, anxiety, worry, stress, judgments. Do it a few times. In the beginning, you have to do it more because it takes you longer to actually get rid of that, that fear, anxiety, worry, stress, judgments. You have to breathe in a good few times, but as many times as you need to do it, until you feel calm and you feel your shoulders are dropped, your jaws unclenched, do it. And as I said, you can do it anyway. In your car, at home, at work, when you wake up in the morning feeling anxious, when you fall asleep at night with the burdens of the day weighing on your mind. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Try it. After a few of these breaths, you'll feel much calmer and so much more in the now. The now... The now, not what happened in the past, not what's happening in the future, tomorrow, wherever, wherever, right here, right now, you'll be calm. I wish you all so much peace, happiness and love in your futures. Many blessings, love and light to everyone.